Hello, my friends. So I dyed my hair. That's why it's all crazy because I let it air dry. Um, you can't see in the light. Well, maybe you can. It's burgundy. And yeah, so I got a native haul and my book outlet haul. So I want to show you what I got. First thing I got is this is from Native, obviously. Oh, my hair is a hot mess. I'm going to spray this on my hair right now. It is. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In plus keratin. Um, I've had a deluxe sample of um, It's a 10 before. I haven't used this keratin one. There we go. And it has a strange smell, but I can handle it if it's going to do all the things that it says it's going to do. And then this is a hair care uh, swap. I got the Prickly Pear Restoring Mist from Nick Chavez. Um, he's on QVC all the time. Apparently, this is to restore moisture, strength, and protein in your hair, and you put it on when it's um, damp. So I will definitely be trying that. And then this, I don't know what happened. This was supposed to be like full. I don't know if the heat like evaporated it or but this is the argan magic nourishing hair cream and it's supposed to eliminate frizz and da, da 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 and yeah so there was supposed to be like that much in there and there's literally like that so but the girl sent me freebies so i got the bare minerals naturally luminous duo and this is the purifying facial cleanser and moisturizer so i'll definitely use that i'll take that out right now and then she sent me this balia cc cream which is in like a medium color so that's cool and then this highlighting liquid um it's kind of scary oh ooh, look how pretty that is it's literally a liquid so hmm i'm not gonna play with that because i don't know how much that's gonna make my hands a mess I'm about to show you the books I got. So I've been trying to get back in reading, which I successfully kind of gotten starting to get into that mode. And um, I purchased a few things from Book Outlet, which I love buying from. And I've also bought some books from the library on, what was it, Friday? Today's Tuesday. Um, so I've spent a good deal on books. And yeah, so the first book I got, I love reading about trivia and I love um, Mental Floss. So this is the Mental Floss trivia book. And it's a really long book. I didn't know it was going to be like this, but it actually like asks you a question and then you answer it. I thought it was going to be like actual reading. I'm kind of disappointed by that because I had read other reviews and somebody was like, oh, if you really like trivia, you'll really like this. Um, I really didn't know that it was trivia questions, but whatever, what am I going to do? And then this, I'm disappointed because I didn't know it was this little, but it is the You Stress Less, the owner's manual for regaining balance in your life. And this is Dr. Oz, real short, if you can't tell. Then I got the Shape Magazine, or Women's Health Magazine, Shape Up Shortcuts. And uh, this is just different, obviously, things you can shortcut with um, different things. Uh, so this is like prep your kitchen, slim down your pantry, like what you need. And it reads kind of like a magazine like this. I like books that I can just pick up and put down. So that's cool. And then I got the sequel to the Sweet Valley um, Confidential, and this is called The Sweet Life. The first one really annoyed me. Um, but I had to know what happened, so I did pick this up, and then the last thing is just something fun, and it's called The Big Book Just for Girls. Yes, this is for a little kid. I saw this in Barnes & Noble maybe like a year, year and a half ago, and, um, it's just a bunch of puzzles and, like, mazes, and it's, like, really, really girly. Like, you can do it all. And I love stuff like this, um, just to relax. And also, it kind of um, gets my creative juices flowing as a writer. Sometimes when I have, like, writer's block, I'll pull out a game book like this or something, and I'll do it, and I'll get some inspiration. It's strange, but it's true. So I got all those for $26 
to me, not a great deal because, like I said, I'm disappointed in the trivia book a little bit. The one book's really small. But, I mean, still, I mean, you can't go to the store and buy these things for that price. And I hadn't bought books in a while, so um, I treated myself. So, yeah. Book Outlet is still amazing. You guys should check it out. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.